Hello, this is um, the circuit for my uh, testing out the, the optical switch or some people call them emitters, emitter switches. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, infrared LED on one side here with a photo transistor on the other side. And for this particular one, I got this on eBay. These are the specs for it. I don't know if you can see this too well. These are the specs of this particular one. They're very cheap. And the reason I got it The reason I got this is to test out setting up a, an emitter and encoder disk on the motors of my soon to be robot. Here's the setup right here, it's very simple. I got the diode on one side, on the transistor side, and then just the LED's got a, a small uh, resistor. Um, basically, I wasn't sure of the, the height when I, when I put this into, let's see if you can see it a little better this way. When I cut the beam, the infrared beam, the LED goes out. Okay? My concern was the height between this and where actually in here the LED is, the uh, infrared LED that is, and the phototransistor. Um, but soon this will be on board controlling the two wheelchair motors uh, with my newly acquired Sabertooth 2x12 two motors up to 12 amps I think the surge is much higher it goes up to like 20 20 amp surge or something but uh, I'd like to really get this set up as soon as possible the this is secondary it's nice to have and I'd like to see it running with the emitters that way the two motors can kind of they'll, they'll run exactly the same speed by having this feedback to the microcontroller. That's it. See you next time.